When the ADMS console is first installed, there aren't any vaults created at all. Autodesk provides three different configurations to choose from when creating your first vault. These options are Building, Infrastructure and Manufacturing. These configurations populate your new vault with settings tailored for Autodesk products with vault integrations within that industry. The ADMS console allows the administrator to set up vaults as they are required. Creating multiple vaults is often beneficial for some companies due to the fact they are completely separated from, another, from each other. The ADMS console allows the administrator to set up vaults as they are required. Creating multiple vaults is beneficial for some companies due to the fact they are completely separated from each other. Some companies work with highly proprietary projects and cannot risk data being accessed across projects. Also, with multiple vaults, administrators can control user access to each vault independently. Configuration options such as revision schemes, part naming schemes, categories, rules and folder structures can be completely different across these vaults. Of course, the upsides of having multiple vaults can also be downsides. Having completely separate vaults means you cannot reuse data. Settings from one vault are not easily transferred to the next and some can't be transferred at all. To create a new vault, open and log into the ADMS console. From the browser on the left, expand the Vaults folder. Right click the folder and select Create. In the resulting dialog, your first task is to type a new vault name. Once that is complete, choose where the file store is to be kept. The default location is selected automatically, however, if this is not where you wish the data to be kept, Choose the Select File Store Location option and choose where it should be. In the lower section of the dialog, you have the option to use a vault configuration. If you want to take this option, select the checkbox. Here you have two options. Use a predefined industry based Autodesk configuration file or choose a custom configuration file. Once complete, click OK to create the new vault. You should receive a message box stating that the vault was created successfully. Click OK and the new vault will now be displayed within the vaults folder on the left. If an existing vault had already been configured with part numbering schemes, revision schemes and so forth, then by right clicking that vault, an administrator can choose export configuration. By saving this configuration, it can be imported into a new vault by right clicking that folder in the vault and selecting Import Configuration. This helps save time by allowing some of the configuration and settings to be transferred between multiple vaults. However, these vaults are still not connected in any way. If the connection of the original vault were to be altered, the secondary vault would not be updated. Another consideration is the configuration files are release sensitive which means that you can't use a configuration from an old release of Vault. Vaults can be deleted by an administrative user. However, this step permanently deletes the Vault database and file store. Data retrieval is impossible beyond this step, so deleting a Vault must be used as an absolute last resort. To delete an existing Vault, open and log into the ADMS console if you haven't already. Expand the vaults folder and then right click the vault you wish to delete and select delete. A warning message appears stating the complete database and file store will be deleted. Click yes to delete the vault. A message box appears once it is complete stating the vault was successfully deleted. Click OK and the vault is no longer listed in the vaults folder. Working with creating and deleting vaults should always be done by an administrative user who fully understands the consequences. Plans should always be put in place prior to taking these steps to ensure the success of the operations.